Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today you are going to see how to create triggers for your Google's app script commands. So here in the tools, script editor, I have the same script as the last videos where we sent emails using normal emails or HTML emails. I'll be using this function for now. So let me change here to HTML and down here I add this line to log to who the email was sent to. So it just email sent to row one with the true email, just seeing the log what's going on. What does it changes? If I come here in the menu, you see that I have triggers and executions. Let's start with executions. If I open the last execution, you see that it logged that the email was sent to and my email here. If I open the previous executions, you see that there is no log for this because that command is new. Now why does this matter? Let's create a trigger. Let's come here in triggers and here we can create automatic triggers that will run our script whenever we configure them to run. If I come down here in add a trigger, you can see that we can select the function. So let's select the send HTML mail. Here we only have one deployment, which is head, so we don't have any other options, so leave it as this. And here we can select where the trigger is coming from. So it can come from the spreadsheet, it can be time driven, or from calendar. If we select spreadsheet, we can use the on open, we can use on edit, on change, and on form submit. On open is the same as the UI we are using. When you open the spreadsheet, it will run. On edit will run every time you select or change a value in your spreadsheet. On change will run when you add more sheets or change columns or add rows, something like that. And on for submit is when you have a Google Forms linked to your spreadsheet. So every time someone press submit in the form, it will run the script. Now, if you come here into time driven, we have more options. So we can select specific dates and times minutes, hours, days, weeks, and month. Let's go for minutes for now, and I'll select every five minutes. Here I can select when I want to be notified of errors, and also if I want, for example, immediately and also daily, I can select more than one option, but let's leave it as immediately here. I'll save this, and now we have a trigger. Now let's wait until it runs, but before that, Let's come over here again and check the from calendar option. In the from calendar option, we can see that when the calendar is updated and I have to type the email of the owner. So every time the Google calendar is updated, so every time it has a new uh, meeting, a new exception, something like that, it will run this trigger here. I don't use this a lot. The best way to run your clothes is usually time driven. So let's leave the script you created here. Here you can see that I own this trigger, it was not running yet, the deployment is had, like we don't have any more deployments here, we only have one, the event is time based and the function is send HTML mail. There is no error rate because it has not run yet and the script is working fine as we already tested it, so let's wait a bit until it runs and then we'll get back to it. Ok, so we're back here, you can see now that the script has run, if I come here I have received the email, even if I come to the spreadsheet, the last line has the sent email here, so it won't be running again. Now, if I come here in the executions, and come here in the last execution, you see that I have my debug here, and also the type is not editor now, it's time driven. And you can also see that we have the onopen method, that's a simple trigger. We'll be talking more about simple triggers in the next video. This one is more about the installable triggers, which are those ones here. Now, another 
to thing to keep in mind is that the Google's F script has some quotas, has some quotas that limit the way you can use the scripts. So for example, if you're using a free account, you can only send 100 scripts every day or 1,500 if you have a Google Workspace account. Also, there are some sort of limitations for the body size, recipients per message, and some other stuff. You can find a lot of things inside Google's Apps Script Guides, and even here you can come into triggers, installable triggers, and see the documentation of the ones we talk about today. So you can see what unopen means, edit, change, for submit, calendar event. You can see how to create triggers here, and also how to program them inside the scripts. We'll be checking this in the next video. So that's it for installable triggers in Google's Apps Script. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.